Who the flip is Chip? This last week, the OKC Thunder hired Chip England as an assistant coach. Thunder Twitter ate it up like a freshly baked apple pie. But being honest, I originally had no idea who Chip was. I'd never even heard his name until the Thunder hired him. The obvious stuff is that he's primarily known as a shooting coach, a guy that comes in and adjusts a player's shot until it's up to snuff and respectable. Clearly, he's a highly regarded person in the NBA, so I got immediately curious and decided to turn my findings into a video. First, let's get the most obvious stuff out of the way. Chip is known for helping Tony Parker and Kawhi Leonard improve their shooting percentages and modify their form. Let's take a quick look at these two player stats and try to get them to fit my narrative. Kawhi shot 20% his freshman year in college and 29% the year after. After joining up with the Spurs, he shot 37% from three his first year and is a career 38% three-point shooter. He even had one season where he shot 44% from deep. On Tony Parker's side, things are a bit interesting. On three-point percentage, he clearly improved a lot and regressed a lot during his career. The season before Chip arrived, he shot 27% from three. The season after Chip arrived, he shot 30%. And one season after that, he shot 39.5%, a huge jump. The season after that, it crashed back down to earth at 25%. So clearly he was all over the place. Interestingly enough, however, his free throw percentage didn't fluctuate nearly as much. The season before Chip intervened, Parker shot 65% from the free throw line. After Chip's arrival, he never dipped below 70% again in his career. And he even had three seasons where he was hitting 80% or more of them. So, so far there seems to be some validity to his nickname, the Shot Doctor. But I needed to know more. I needed my excitement to be validated or my expectations to be checked. I started off looking for stories about Chip to get to know him a little better. Here's a few of the most interesting and revealing bits I could find. This first story is by John Hollinger. This is a quote from Popovich talking about Tony Parker. In the first few years, whenever he'd shoot it, I just figured it was going to be a turnover. Same as a turnover. There's no way that's going in. But in the last year and a half when he shoots it, I actually think it's going to go in. So he's changed me quite a bit. That's due to his work and Chip England, who's really worked hard on him. You might be thinking, well, of course, Popovich is going to have nice things to say about Chip. He's been with the Spurs or he was with the Spurs for 17 years. And it's really unlikely that Popovich would ever have anything negative to say about somebody in the Spurs organization. But worth noting is that this quote is from a story from 2007. That's only two years after Chip had joined the Spurs. So I thought it was interesting that Popovich would name drop Chip like this pretty early into their work relationship. This next story is by the highly regarded basketball legend Bryant. He said, I emailed Chip and asked him what he considered some of the key fundamentals in shooting mechanics. He told me the following. Number one, feet shoulder width. Number two, and this is the most important point in my opinion, release should be a one-handed pushing action. So I'll show you guys what this motion should look like according to this Tom Nordland fellow. Number three is hold your follow through until the shot goes in the basket. And number four, when in doubt, shoot. So check this out. This is the shooting motion that apparently Chip is a fan of, or at least was back in 2007. I think this is extremely fascinating because I did not expect this to be the correct way to shoot. This is actually really close to how Shea shoots a basketball. I always thought you were supposed to do more of a catapult motion, but apparently not. And it's actually pretty encouraging to see this, not just because of Shea, but because I think Giddy might be closer to this than the catapult way. This next story by Bill Barnwell is pretty interesting too. To summarize it, basically Steve Kerr, who is the most accurate three-point shooter ever, had this to say about working with Chip. It was very subtle. Before I started working with Chip, the ball rolled off my middle finger more than my index finger. He taught me to spread my hands out a little wider on the ball and use my index fingers more. Kerr says that switch made him a more consistent shooter by allowing him more control over his shot and making it far less likely that the ball would slip and roll off his pinky fingers. In Parker's case, the first thing England noted was that while his form was exemplary on his one-handed jumpers and teardrops, which, by the way, 
Giddy isn't terrible at those things, Parker held the ball differently on his jump shot. So beginning with training camp in the fall of 2005, England reconstructed Parker's shot. The changes had an instant impact. Impressive stuff. The third and most important type of information I looked into were his impact metrics. Does the data that we have available fit the narrative following the legendary shot doctor? As usual, I'll try to get into the most useful stats I can without being overwhelming. I used the NBA stat page and sorted by teams, tracking, shooting efficiency, which throws a ton of percentages at us that I put into a neat table for y'all. The stats I chose were pull up field goal percentage and catch and shoot field goal percent. The NBA page only allowed me to go back to 2013 and 14 for these stats, so I'll start there. Keep in mind that the first four years here the Spurs were stacked and finishing first, second, or third in the West. After that, they were about average for two seasons. They've been pretty bad the last three seasons, finishing 11th and 10th in the West. Here's that graphic showing the catch and shoot and the pull up field goal percent, as well as their league rank for that season in those categories. Feel free to pause if you want to get a closer look, but in summary, here's a couple things that I thought were interesting. In 2017-2018, they dropped dramatically in pull-ups, but next season were first again, better than the Warriors even. In 2019, they only won 31 games, but were somehow first in catch and shoot field goal percent. In 2020-2021, they were bad on catch and shoots, but still excellent at pull-ups. And last but not least, in a general sense, it's very difficult to find a season where they were outside of the top 12. In fact, there's only been two times that's happened. Very impressive. And like I said, even more impressive considering the last couple seasons have not been great. Last but not least, I wanted to show the Spurs free throw percentage, which is something I hope Chip can help us out with. Last season, they were actually pretty far down the list, came 25th which is very interesting. Now don't get me wrong, this isn't an exact science by any stretch. A lot of these rankings are separated by only extremely small percentage points. And not just that, but the talent on the team obviously matters a ton. But still, I found all these categories to show some pretty encouraging information that makes me think that Chip is a great hire for the Thunder. As a matter of fact, the best way I saw somebody put it is as far as adding somebody to the team that isn't a player, Chip England is about as good as it gets. Obviously I learned a lot about Chip, but what I'm most blown away by is this shooting motion that I learned from Tom Northland. I'm actually going to look into this a little bit more after recording. I thought Shea shot was a little funky, but turns out it's legit. Even if Chip only marginally helps, or five of our core players increase their shooting percentages by 1.5, two percentage points. That's still a huge win with a dramatic impact on our ceiling. So hopefully after I presented all this information, which got me pretty hype, other Thunder fans can look at it and get hype as well. But anyway, thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Feel free to leave a like or subscribe if you want to keep up to date with my uploads. So yeah, thanks again. Till next time.